Hey everyone, we have another showdown for you. We have the Jabra Panacast 50 against the Bose VB1. These are both video bars designed for smaller huddle rooms, maybe a max of 10 to 15 people in a room for your video meetings, Zoom meetings, Spring Central meetings, whatever you have as far as your video conferencing platform. These are two video bars and we're gonna see how they stack up and compare. So let's get started right now. For those of you that are new here, my name is David. This is the Channel Headset Advisor where we review and compare all of the latest business technology such as your headsets, cameras, and speaker phones. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. All right, let's get started right now. All right, let's quickly go over how these video bars compare. They both connect to the computer via USB cable. The Panacast is USB-C into the video bar to USB-A 3.0 on the other end to plug into your computer. Whereas the Bose VB1 has USB-C on the back of the device here, and then it has a USB-C, and also it includes a converter from USB-C to USB-A, and it's also a 3.0. So you're gonna get that fast data transfer. Obviously, both of these video bars are doing cameras and speakers and microphones, all built into one device, so it has a lot of data that it's trying to communicate back and forth to your computer. They also both have Bluetooth uh, built into it. So if you wanna do an audio conference call, you can pair up your mobile devices and get them paired up to the device. And then of course you have the network. So if you have an IT company or internal IT department that wants to manage the devices remotely, they can plug them in with an ethernet cable or you can connect via Wi-Fi. Now one uh, extra port that the Bose has is an HDMI uh, output. So basically how that works is you have your TV mounted on top here. The uh, HDMI cable will plug into the VB1 and then the USB cable will transmit that to your computer over the USB-C cable. Whereas the Panacast you have to uh, plug in the HDMI cable directly from the TV, directly to the computer, completely bypassing the Panacast. Not a big deal, but it does make it a little more convenient on the Bose, as far as just having one cable plug into the bar and then one cable out to the computer. So you don't have two things plugged into the computer, you only have one. So that makes it uh, a little more convenient there. Then uh, you have six microphones built into the Bose video bar, and then you have eight microphones built into the Jabra Panacast. And we're gonna plug both of these devices in and test out the cameras and the microphone so you can hear and see for yourself how these devices sound. But overall, they're basically identical as far as functionality, room size. They're both priced at just under $1,200 MSRP, almost identical in price. All right, now where these video bars compare is the cameras. The Bose VB1 has a 4K camera. It only has one camera, but the height of the pixels is 2160, a traditional 4K, whereas the uh, Jabra Panacast 50 actually stitches together three cameras uh, creating a pixel uh, range of 3840 by 1080p. So the height of the pixels is still a traditional 1080p, but you have that longer width, like a panoramic phone shot. It's really wide because it's stitching together the three different camera angles. And we'll show you the benefit of that here when we actually plug these in and test the cameras but they're both 4K capable. Obviously, most of the video conferencing platforms out there only utilize 1080p anyways, so you're going to be future-proof on both these devices when it comes to 4K and that 4K future rollout. So they are very similar, but let's get to the fun stuff. Let's plug them in and show you exactly how these look and how they sound and how they compare. All right, we're gonna test out the speaker on this Jabra Panacast. We have it at max volume plugged into the computer here. We're gonna play a Zoom meeting. So apologies, it's gonna be slightly boring, but it's going to be able to allow you to hear how clear an audio conference 
is is exactly how you're going to use this video bar and then i have this decibel reader here that will show you how loud it gets so you can get an idea of how the volumes compare from one device to another so jeff go ahead and play the audio and it's continued to diminish and diminish when i was a kid that light was actually quite clear um so that the rain now uh, that falls is not getting into the soil and feeding those springs like it used to back half a century ago Thank you. Now, Claire, did you have some comments to make? Um, look, I just wanted to compliment uh, the the people that that report together. I mean, I was really impressed actually with the range. Of and it's continued to diminish and diminish. When I was a kid, that lake was actually quite clear. Um, so that the rain now uh, that falls is not getting into the soil and feeding those springs like it used to back half a century ago. Thank you. Now, Claire, did you have some comments to make? Um, look, I just wanted to compliment uh, the, the people that, that report together. I mean, I was really impressed, actually. All right, now we're going to test music on the Jobber Panicast. But before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Jeff, go ahead and play some music. <laughs> All right, so there you have the speaker test between both these devices. Now, they both sounded fantastic. I like them both. But after listening to them back a couple of times, my preference between the two would have been the Bose. I think it had slightly less volume, maybe a decibel or two less than the Jabra. But the overall sound quality between music just sounded a little more rich, a little bit better bass, just slightly. Uh, so. Definitely my preference here was the Bose as far as the speaker quality. But now we're gonna test out the microphones on both these and of course we're gonna to get to the camera. So stay tuned for that. All right, so now I'm going to test the microphone on the Jabra and we're gonna test the camera simultaneously. So how you're viewing me is directly through the Jabra and my voice is coming through the same video bar here. And it's about three to four feet away from me. And then I'm gonna kind of just move around the device so you can see if you can still pick up my voice. So I'm gonna to go to the corner of the room here. All right, now this is about eight feet away from the camera on uh, the left side or your right side of the video. So then I'm gonna go over to the other side here. All right, now this is um, about eight feet away as well on the other side. So you'll be able to see if you can pick me up. And one thing about the Jabra is that it is using those three cameras. So when uh, I was speaking on the left side of the, the video bar, it's using the left camera and the right camera and vice versa. Now it is on the center camera and it's trying to kind of recenter the speaker so that they can be in focus. And there's a variety of modes you can do. So this one I prefer just so you can get a closer look at who's speaking. But if you have people that are constantly speaking, you can switch it to another mode that it just tries to put everybody inside the frame. But that's the microphone uh, test. So we're gonna switch over to the Bose and then we're gonna do a long range test here in just a second between both. All right, so this is the Bose uh, BB-1. My voice is coming through the, the microphone in the video bar here and I'm about three feet away. So now I'm gonna go to the other side of the camera, the left side, your right side. All right, testing one, two, three. I'm over here about eight feet away. And then I have the Bose BB-1 as well in the same mode. So it tries to zoom in on the presenter. And again, the Bose has one camera and then it uses the electronic pan tilt zoom to really hone in on the speaker here. So I'm gonna speak over here on the other side of the room as if uh, somebody was on the other end of a table. This is what would happen with the Bose VB1 when you have somebody else speaking on the other side of a table. 
Um, so we're going to switch over to the long range test between both these cameras so you can get an idea of how well uh, they perform. All right, so now I'm about 10 to 15 feet away from the Jabra Panacast 50, and this is how my voice is being picked up from that camera. So if you can imagine the camera and speaker is on the wall with your TV mounted on top of the camera, you may have a table that is uh, maybe 15 feet away, somebody at the far end of the table. So this is maybe how they would, their voice would be picked up on this job of Panicast at the 10 to 15 foot range. All right, now this is the Bose at about that 10 to 15 foot range away from the camera. And again, the camera and speaker is gonna be mounted on the wall more than likely with your TV on top of it. So if you can imagine somebody at the far end of the table, this is how far the camera will zoom in and also what the microphone pickup is like. The room that we're in right now is uh, approximately 15 feet wide by 25 feet long. So this gives you an idea of how well the pickup range is. And I speak typically at about a 75 decibel rating. So I'm not speaking uh, much louder than I normally would. And this is what the microphone pickup is like. All right, now what I wanna do is compare both the Jabra and the Bose side by side in a variety of environments. So you can get an idea of how well uh, the video quality compares between one unit to another. So this is full studio lighting, no overhead light. So this is uh, what we shoot in, uh, with our cameras. And then I'm gonna switch to a variety of other tests here so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Real quick, I'm just going to kind of walk side by side here so you can see how well uh, the switching of the camera and how fast it is switching between one device to another. And then I'm going to walk over here to the other side so that you can get an idea of how well the pickup is and how fast it's kind of um, switching the camera angles, the pan tilt zoom, which I really love on both these devices uh, that they automatically do this. That's a great feature to have rather than having to have you know, one particular person having to change the camera angle or that you just don't have an option of that zoom and you're not able to see the speaker clearly on the video meeting. So this is what it looks like with kind of studio lighting. So now what we're gonna do is turn off the studio lighting and put on the regular overhead lighting like you would have in a typical office environment. All right, so now this is with the office lighting on and no other of the studio lightings in the background. So this is what you'll typically find in an office environment. You got, you know, fluorescent bulbs overhead and you have your, you know, conference table uh, here. So this is what it would look like, both the Bose and the Jabra side by side. And then I'm gonna switch the camera angle over to, uh, I have a window over here so you can see kind of the, with the window in the background, how it, will pick up um, the difference between the lighting in the room compared to the lighting in uh, the outside environment. All right, so now this is with the window of behind me here and the standard overhead lighting that you would have in the office. And I'll just kind of walk around to see how well uh, both devices kind of pick up uh, the lighting on me and also with the background as a distraction over there. So testing one, two, three. So this is what it looks like with the variety of lighting in the background. All right, so what did you think of the overall video quality between Bose and Jabra? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. There was definitely some pros and cons to each one as we went through those tests. So it's really hard for me to decide which one is better. I felt like the Jabra was a little bit sharper in uh, a lot of the video footage, but then sometimes the bows look better to me. So I'm curious to hear your specific feedback in the comment section below. Choosing between both of these video bars, you really can't go wrong with either one. They're virtually uh, identical as far as functionality. They have cameras, microphones, and speakers that all work very, very good that plug into your computer. It just comes down to personal preference. Uh, the Jabra, you can get it in this silver color or the black color. 
And then the Bose is a little bit smaller in design, kind of looks a little sleeker, I would say. So if it's a design thing, then it's up to your personal preference. I'll have both of these linked at our website in the video description below. Make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word that gets you the biggest discount possible on these products. And when you order through our website, that helps support this channel and we really, really appreciate it. So. I hope this video has brought you some value, you enjoyed it. If there's anything else you would like to see, make sure to put it in the comment section below. We look at all of your comments and we really appreciate them and we'll respond to you as soon as possible. And if there's any reviews you wanna see, we'll get to those as well. We'll get them on our list. So I think you'll enjoy this video on this headset right here. So check it out, I think you'll like it. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time.